everyone, real quick, I want to update you some travel. So, first off, we're having a Vancouver area, British Columbia. Yes, that is right, Vancouver area, guys. If you're in that area starting about like November 26th, I will hopefully see you then. Then, super exciting, guys, Florida. Yes, this area of Florida right here starting about December 4th. So, Florida, definitely looking for hosts, guys. Definitely looking for some tips. So, if you're interested in helping out, please send me a message on Instagram, Facebook, email, all my contact info available down in the description. And then, even more exciting, I'm going to a new country. That's right, a new country I've never been before, guys. So, stay tuned for that update. So maybe I'm coming to your country. What is that and making this possible is today's sponsor being Surfshark VPN. So huge thanks Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark VPN is a VPN, a virtual private network, helping to keep your data safe and anonymized. Helping you while you shop on the internet. Yes, that's right. It is Black Friday and you're doing more shopping than ever this week. So not only can you use a VPN to change your location to actually get better deals, but it'll help protect your data, like your credit card information, etc. while you're using it online. Of course, people are home more than ever right now as well. And of course, you want to watch your Netflix. And Netflix, you can actually get access to new shows by changing your geographical location, again, using Surfshark VPN. So for example, you can watch like Fantastic Beasts, which are not available in North America. As always, it comes with 30-day money-back guarantee, unlimited devices. And for this week, for the Black Friday special, you can now get 83% off and four months free. Yes, that is right. That is available until November 30th, aka Cyber Monday. So act now, act this week, because after that, it's going to go back to the regular deal, which is still pretty sweet. 83% off and three months free. But right now, guys, like I said, 83% off, four months free. Go check out the link below and use that code Joel H on screen right now. Yes, that's right. Check out the link below, use code Joel H, and you'll get that sweet deal. And that'll let you get the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we are in the lovely Regina, and it's really warm here. And that's Regina in Saskatchewan. Yes, Regina is a place. So here at the Coney Island Cafe to do their Elvis Presley challenge. So this challenge consists of a Elvis burger. So it's like like peanut butter and bacon on the hamburger. You then have a hot dog, a big old like hot dog sausage thing with peanut butter and bacon on there. Maybe some bananas somewhere in there as well. And then we have a milkshake and a poutine. Uh, the poutine is also like Elvis Presley themed with bacon, peanut butter, and the milkshake is like chocolate, bacon, peanut butter, maybe banana, banana yeah. something. Anyway, super good. Um, they have so many different flavors of milkshakes. It, everything looks delicious. I just like, it's such a cool place. I'm gonna show you the menu. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna have 45 minutes to complete this challenge. Hopefully you can beat it. And uh, so that's fun, man. Everybody, so here's the challenge. This is the first poutine I've ever been excited to eat in my life, and I'm damn excited. Look, I got a s'mores poutine. Isn't that like freaking delicious? So we got cinnamon sugar, french fries, graham crackers, chocolate, syrup, and marshmallows. Then have the Elvis hot dog. So as I mentioned, uh, peanut butter bacon. It's under the, under the sausage hot dog thing there. And then an Elvis burger with bacon, peanut butter. Everything smells delicious, looks great. Um, instead of the like traditional Elvis milkshake, which is peanut butter, chocolate, uh, and maybe, I don't know, bacon. I went with a coconut cream pot. So yeah, we have 45 minutes to eat this. The current record stands at 15 minutes. I think we're gonna enjoy this one. And maybe 15 minutes sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think 14.59, somewhere in that range. Yeah, so, yeah. so let's get started. I have a timer today here. It's not mine, don't worry guys. I'm, I'm not that on track. Anyway, so let's get started. Scott, what do you say, the count of five? Actually, you give, us the, you give us the countdown, I have the timer. All right, we go ahead. Countdown to five, four, three, two, one, begin. Cool. Let's see. Where do I start? Hot dog. Oh, are we gonna cheers? Sure. Hot dog. There we go. All right. Mm. Not to sound like sarcastic, but... It's like, it tastes like peanut butter and bacon and a hot dog. <laughs> it's just a really cool combination. It's definitely a very unique flavor and it's very flavorful and that's nice. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to something which is a little different. So, so many times guys, we're eating a challenge and people are like, oh, why don't you guys just enjoy it? Well, maybe we finally are going to just enjoy it after you guys have for so, so long constantly mentioned and commented and said, you know, if the record is 20 minutes, guys, why do you eat it in five? Why wouldn't you just take it, you know, slow and enjoy it? Well, like I said, tune in and maybe we'll see exactly that happening. Now, does that speak to the quality of the food or was it planned? Well, let's just say I think it was to the quality of the food. The food here was absolutely exceptional. We had no clue we were getting ourselves into either than it was this Elvis Presley challenge. Um, the challenge is uh, pretty much like a pay for play. And they had another challenge as well. I believe it was just like a straight poutine challenge. Um, but they had like so many cool items on the menu that I wanted to try to change the challenge up a little bit. So just getting my dessert poutine, which they offer like just as like dessert fries, dessert poutine, which I suspect 
expected if I got to would be the absolute best poutine and fried dish I've ever had. Try this burger. Bacon, peanut butter. Mm. All right. Delicious. Yeah, I kind of dig that. I like that a lot. Especially, it's, it's still got the tomatoes, pickles, lettuce, and onions in there as well, which it actually makes a nice combination with the bacon and peanut butter, you know? It's a really nice texture. I've never had peanut butter on a burger before, but I would definitely have it again. Yeah. I absolutely loved the burger with the uh, peanut butter on it. The sausage with the peanut butter on was great as well. Um, you know, the uh, milkshake, although we're not at it yet, um, I'm sure would be very delicious. I did go with a coconut milkshake because I love coconut. Um, and then the uh, Elvis Presley one was the chocolate, uh, peanut butter, and banana. Um, so yeah, just like overall, just a very delicious challenge. Dude, that's delicious. You get through all the time now, probably. Because <laughs> <clears throat> you don't sure. A lot of times you're not sure if you could actually have flavors, you know? Want a burger? asking restaurants to put peanut butter on their burgers. I feel like a burger shop. Should I just have peanut butter? Alright. Very delicious. Now it's delicious looking poutine. And then delicious looking duck food. This is so cool. Not sugar free, but look at it. Oh boy. I can vibe with this. So I've got the, uh, the Elvis poutine. So bacon, peanut butter on like a pretty, I like on a poutine. It's very Elvis y. You know? It's a great thing. I definitely have to say one of the better poutines that I've ever had for sure. That's not the best. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Peanut on that burger with fire. And this one's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Then I was walking in Washington, in Memphis. I was walking with poutine six feet off the field. Joel's singing so that I can catch up to him. <laughs> I'm celebrating a delicious <laughs> poutine without cheese. And Elvis, right? Also by popular demand, there's a lot of natural commentary in this video. Guys, but oh my gosh, I gotta say, like that poutine was awesome. So it's french fries with a like cinnamon sugar, so kind of like you'd put in a churro. And then it was marshmallows, chocolate sauce, delicious. Um, again, Scott had the more traditional poutine with the addition of like the peanut butter on top, and a little bit of bacon. So his probably actually did have more weight to it. Um, however, mine was a little bit more desserty and delicious. But that's pretty much it. I'll give it away. I'll say I got to the milkshake and it was absolutely delicious. Everything here was delicious. So if you're ever in the area, stop on by and uh, we'll let's get to the rest of it. We're about six minutes in. We only have 39 minutes left.
Look at that cream pie. Ooh. Good? Ooh. Oh boy. I also love coconut. Oh my gosh, it's getting better by the minute. When I already really liked this challenge, I'm liking it even more. Dude. Why can't every challenge taste like this? <laughs> Holy jumpers. Oh, so good. And they have like 50 kinds of milkshakes. It's actually pretty impressive. I'm very impressed already with this thing. By the way, we found this place by, I think, recommendation, by recommendation of somebody on YouTube. So, thank you for recommending this place. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah. Dude, this much is fire. How's that one? Yeah. Dude! Yeah. Dude. Every milkshake should taste like this. Yes. And every challenge should end with a milkshake. I've always said that. All right. A little bit of brain freeze, but it's damn delicious. for myself just under nine minutes and then literally about right on nine minutes for Scott damn delicious oh yeah dude dude I love that like that milkshake just that made my freaking week <laughs> that was damn good that was the best milkshake I've had in like up there with ever so seriously everybody really cool spot if you ever Regina Coney Island Cafe would recommend they have weird poutines like in a good way like that s'mores one that mini donuts on the menu I see. They got all kinds of ice cream, not to mention hamburgers and hot dogs. As you saw, I would definitely come back here very often. Yeah, absolutely. I find it so delicious. Great way to add milkshake. Even the unique flavors of the peanut butter and Dude, bacon. Peanut like butter on burgers. Burgers and hot it's dogs. It's good. So yeah, that, awesome. that everybody really would recommend. Definitely check out this spot. And that right till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Of course, happy eating. Don't eat as much as we do, but again, I definitely recommend checking this place out. And uh, you know, just live your life. Just, just do it. I'm just this milkshake is life changing. So <laughs> I hope you get to try it one day. Till next time, everybody.